Hey, Mike Boren here. Today I wanted to share a little did you know about some of the functionality inside of Destiny Estimator. Oftentimes you will be in an estimate and you will have quantities that have come from a number of different places, but you need to augment those quantities. Sometimes it's by putting a markup or some adjustment on there. And you want to keep the history of where that information came from. Now, some of our customers, they like to, you know, just put a little bit of a math equation inside of the formula. And as you can see here on the screen, um, we've got a, our formula column out. And, you know, a couple of the uh, uh, formulas that we've got here actually are driven, uh, or the quantities are driven by a simple math equation. Uh, and thanks to our some of our latest functionality, you can actually see that color coded so you know that quantity is actually coming from a formula versus being manually entered or being derived from 2D quantity takeoff. But did you know that you could at any time select a quantity or even a formula and type in anything you'd like into this formula section here? An estimator will interpret that and create variables on the fly for you. So for example, a simple piece here would be, I, I've highlighted this 871 square feet for this form work. Maybe I wanted to add a simple markup. Sometimes our customers might say times, say 1.2 to put a 20% markup on that. And that's fine, you can do that, but you'll notice that just basically does the math for you. Or let me undo this. You could come in here and you could say, instead I wanna do times, times, markup. I just made up markup, but you can type anything you want in here. As soon as I hit enter, you'll notice it prompts me below, hey, what is the markup? In this case, I'm going to say it's 1.2. Give me a 20% markup. You'll now notice that as that evaluates, I have a formula that's driving this. I can come back at any time and see that my quantity was driven by a manually entered value times the markup. And I can select on this and see that we put a 1.2 or 20% markup on this line item. And you can do that for any line item, any formula, you can augment any formula. I can come in here and say, I want this to be area uh, SF divided by 27 uh, plus, you know, uh, Steve's favorite number. And we'll do that. And it'll instantly create Steve's favorite number here and I can come in and add that value. So that does give you at any time the ability to on the fly augment your quantities with any logic you'd like to create and keep that for posterity for your history's sakes you can always go back in and look at it later and see why did we change it what does that number actually mean and where did it come from so again this is mike boren signing off i appreciate you for listening to our did you know